So today we're looking at the phone app that Microsoft released for uh, Dynamics NAV 2016. It comes in three different flavors for Windows phones, for Android phones, and for iOS devices. And it automatically scales up to show just enough information based on the screen size you have. You can run the same app on a tablet, and it will scale up to show more information. In the background, it uses the same pages that, uh, that the Windows client also uses. So any changes that are made automatically reflects across all devices without any additional effort. On the phone app, the main screen shows the queues that we're used to in NAV. Um, it shows queues for uh, popular documents that the user uh, works with, in this case, uh, quotes and sales orders. It shows actions that we still have to take. There are 20 orders ready to ship. Uh, one is delayed by a number of days. And we can look at more information if we click on the queues. For instance, I can open up my sales orders by clicking on the queue. Here are the 20 sales orders in question. I can open up this one here and look at more information about this uh, sales order. As you can see, we don't see all the fields in the sales header. Um, as we're used to in the Windows client, it only shows the uh, most important ones, and it does have a button to show more. Underneath, we see the sales lines. In this case, we have uh, five different items we're selling, totals underneath, and then tabs for invoicing and shipment, which once again will only show the most often used fields. Uh, back on the sales lines, I can isolate this section, just this section, and do a show as list, which will show me just the sales lines on this sales order. It makes it easier to scroll through and uh, check those. Let me go back to the sales order. Um, the system comes with uh, full capability to edit data as well as show it. Um, if I click on the pencil in the bottom, it'll switch the sales order to an edit view, and I can make changes as I need. Let's step back to my queues. In the top, across the top, you will see a number of icons. Those are different um, elements on your role center. Uh, the second element here is the uh, My Customers list. These are the list of customers that I use most often. From here, I can click through and check information on the customer card. Uh, there's full support for flow fields with clicking information, so I can go and see uh, what makes up the balance for this customer. Uh, and full in, um, integration with your email program and your phone um, uh, feature, so you can click on a phone number and automatically have it call or automatically email a customer that way. I can also look at most used items. They work similar to uh, my customers. I can click through and get to the item card that way. There's also support for charts. If I click on the charts tab here, right now I'm looking at trailing sales orders uh, with order quantities per month. Um, but this is a dynamic chart, so I can change that on the fly to show a period length of quarters, and I can also change it to look at the amounts instead of the number of orders. The screen will reflect that uh, beautifully. Um, what you see in the main screen here um, are the queues. However, there is a menu option to the left of here that allows you more options to all the different uh, navigation uh, that the user has access to.